Hey everyone, it's Robert. So a lot of you guys seem to really be enjoying my Yodu Valorant lineup videos. And a lot of people have been requesting for me to do split. So far I've done Ascent and I've also done Bind. So if you want to check those out after this one, be sure to do so. So I've been sitting on split for an hour or two now. And for the most part, I think when it comes to Yodu at least, there's not a lot of crazy teleports you can get with split because it's for the most part, it's a pretty linear map. It's lots of just like long stretches. Like you got one here and then even up into heaven, it's another like long stretch. And then when you're playing up mid, another like long stretch. You can kind of see the point that I'm getting at. There are a few that I have learned that I'm going to be showing you guys today. I want to start off with attack first because Yodo is a duelist and he thrives on attack. Before we start really quick, I just wanted to plug that I stream almost every single day on my Twitch account, twitch.tv slash robberayer underscore. I'm going to be playing a lot of Yodu and using some of these lineups that I've learned in these videos while I'm playing live. So if you're interested in that, the links will be down in the description below. The enemy can see his teleporter. If they get close enough to it, they can also hear it. So some of these you're going to want to defend with a flashbang or even some of your own gunshots just, just to kind of get them off of it. So let's start with a site. So the first two that I have actually use the same wall. It's going to be this wall right here if you're attacking onto a site. The first one's going to get you across from elbow here. What you want to do is just aim generally against this wall. Not that specific. It's going to ride it for a second and then get you all the way into this corner. Which is pretty good if there's a guy camping the screens and you don't want to peek him necessarily. The second one uses the same wall. You aim it at this wall, but at a little bit more of a shallow angle. That way you give it more time to actually turn and reposition itself. And that'll angle you all the way into screens. This next one that I wanted to show you guys is also really strong if you can maybe disguise it with the smoke. So what you want to do is get as deep as you can to this corner where this plant is. Aim just above this second caution sign, about in the middle. Throw it out. That's going to go all the way up into ramps. And get you right into this corner here. And there's more than likely always going to be a guy playing ramps. You guys have played split before. So you're definitely going to want to be flashing yourself into this one. This next one is probably the... I guess furthest traveling teleporter that I found regarding a site. You want to get as deep as you can to this corner. So coming off spawn, you're going to want to flash your cross. Maybe have a smoke down. Maybe deal with the guy ramps somehow. Get into this corner. Go as far into it as you can. And you see this triangle on the wall. You're going to want to aim just to the right of the top right of this triangle here. Your crosshair should barely be missing the triangle. Throw it out. It's going to go all the way up ramps. This one's pretty precise, so it might take a few times to try it gonna go through and get you all the way into screens link you can push through and deal with the guy playing screens or catch the guys rotating from b so for this next one i kind of have like a scenario for you i'm sure you all have been in this scenario before i guess it's more of a defense scenario but because it's in this spot close to attacking on a i figured i'd include it in this section of the video so there's a guy playing on a maybe there's two of them maybe there's one guy left he planted on a site you're the last one alive Maybe you have a teammate with you. Either way, bomb is down on A, planted, and the enemy is defending it on site. You probably came from heaven. You could have came from CT. Maybe you rotated all the way through spawn. Either way, the play here is you get as deep as you can into this corner. This teleporter is going to get you from here all the way into elbow. You see where this indent is on the wall? You want to aim a little bit to the left. And if you look at the arrows on the ground where your teleporter is, if your arrows are hitting this black dot, that's about as far down as you should be aiming. So you want to throw it out. Give it time to travel a little bit. Maybe throw like a flash or two just to like make them, let them know that you're playing on this side. Drop some footsteps. Pop your teleporter. He thinks you're coming from ramps. Get the pick. Defuse the bomb. Now this is more of a lurk play, but I like it a lot because you can regroup with your team really, really quickly. So let's say your team's doing like a B push. You want to lurk on A. Get right in this corner when the round starts and you see this line on the wall here at the end of sewers. If you throw your teleporter on this line, and then you can maybe like push out into A main, throw a couple flashes, drop some footsteps, really mess with them, make, like lurk and make them think that you're playing A. And then as you're making noise at A, your teleporter is going to travel all the way up through sewers through mid. It's going to get back into market. And then you're on A site making noise, and then all of a sudden you TP, and you're all the way into market back with your team pushing B while there's like one or two guys committed onto A trying to deal with you. So this is a really nice cross map kind of teleport play that is really good for lurking. Promise is the last one in this corner. Let's say you're coming from A main and there's a guy holding heaven and you want to get back onto site without him holding you. Maybe there's also a guy's screens. You're stuck in this corner, but you want to get on site somehow. Throw out your teleporter anywhere against this wall. 
And that's going to get you all the way. Now, make sure you wait until it's all the way in this corner before you TP to it. Otherwise, the guy from heaven is going to see you. And that's the whole purpose of this teleport to begin with. This next one is also pretty situational. I don't see you using it that often. But let's say you guys take A really, really fast. You know somebody's playing through B. You guys get heaven control super quick. You can hop in, throw it against these boxes here. Maybe play on side a little bit, you know, get the bomb down, do whatever you got to do. Start planting. You know people are rotating from B right now. Get the spike down, TP to spawn, and then you can catch the people rotating from B. So you need to get to this corner here, whether you're flashing yourself across, or they have a phoenix wall, however you want to get to this corner. Drop some footsteps, and then you're going to aim at this brick here. Now, the teleporter is going to get you all the way into alley. And there's two things you can do after that, and I'll explain it in a second here. You see this brick on the wall. You want to aim a little bit to the leftish of the bottom right corner of this brick. So right about here or so. Time to jump. And that's going to get you into alley, like I said. And you want the guy on site to think you're still here playing in garage. So maybe you flash out. Again, drop some footsteps. TP into alley. And from here, you can peek the guy playing on site. You can see how far my footsteps came. You can peek the guy playing on site who still thinks you're in garage. Or you can be even more quiet and sneak your way all the way into heaven. Or if the team thinks you're playing B by then, and you can get the rotators from A and then deal with the guy heaven. This is a really, really strong teleport. As long as the guy on site isn't playing close or doesn't see you teleport in and you can disguise it with a smoke or a flash or some sorts, this teleport is really, really strong if you can actually pull it off. When it comes to playing mid, there's not a ton of lineups I can find. Of course, you know, there's like blatantly obvious ones. You can throw it into back vents. You could throw it up into mail. Um, but I'm here to show you like lineups that you wouldn't necessarily think of by yourself. And even this next one is a little bit obvious, but let's say you guys to get mid control and you're playing into heaven. As you're walking into heaven, just throw it along this wall here. And the teleporter is going to go all the way into sight and it should get you into back sight there. And then do whatever you want to do. You may, you know, maybe come play stairs. You can even stay heaven. Maybe get the guy lurking from ropes back mid. And that's just going to TP you all the way into back sight here. One last scenario I wanted to go over for you guys on attack before we move on to defense. I'm sure you guys have also all been in this scenario. You guys push on a B site, or maybe you're by yourself pushing on a B site. You plant default, and then you start playing back site. But let's say the bomb is down default. You're sitting in this corner. People are coming CT. People are coming heaven, playing in this back corner. On Yodo, I find that it's okay to let your enemies know where you're playing, as long as you have a backup plan. So like, let's say I know a guy's playing heaven. Maybe I can like flash him out, let him know that I'm playing back site. And then as I'm peeking, throw a teleporter rafts, or throw a teleporter garage. I like the rafts one a little bit more surprisingly than the garage play, mainly because I find that if you go all the way into garage here, they could just push on a site and stick it. And then now you're at the disadvantage versus if you were to, you know, flash through the flash here, let the guy have and know you're playing here and then drop a TP underneath rafts, maybe step back again, anchor down some footsteps. And then as they're pushing out, do another flash, TP, activate your footsteps. They still think you're back site somewhere. And now you're sitting here. The guy from CT is going to be holding back sight. The guy from heaven is going to be holding back sight. I guarantee you get a kill with this as long as they don't see you actually TP. And the guy pushing from CT doesn't see your TP cross over him as well. So let's start going over defensive plays with Yoru on split. It's very rare that defaulting on split actually means defaulting on split, where you have like one guy pushing A, two pushing mid, one pushing B. You know, it's very, very rare that that actually happens. So know that before throwing out some of these teleports because they could go to waste and you just got to be a little bit more careful with using them on defense regarding split. This first one's pretty easy to hit. What you want to do is get about halfway down this wall here, entering the garage. And then you see this dark brick on the wall right here. If you just aim directly at this dark brick, throw it out. Time to jump. It's going to write down. Not the most useful teleport, but maybe you can sneak it past the people playing mid. TP in. And now they have no idea you're right behind them. If they push through mid, maybe back garage. You're right here. When it comes to playing mid on defense with split, it's extremely limiting with Yoda's teleporter, mainly because of this box here. I mean, there's the obvious play if you're playing through vents and you want to throw it out and just get you into market. That's an obvious play, right? Yeah. So I wouldn't worry too much about defending mid with Yoru on split. You should leave that to your Sage or your Raze. There is one potential play that I do like. You really got to get a feel on whether or not the enemy team will pay attention to it or not. But if you're sitting here in mail and you throw it out, 
you can get a teleporter in this yeah. corner. Kind of rare that people actually play mid through sewers. If people are playing mid, they're going to come through market most of the time. You can throw like maybe like one flash in the beginning and throw it out just to back them off a little bit as your teleporter is like right here, maybe. Let it get into this corner. They're not going to see it and pay attention to it coming out of mid here. It shouldn't get into visible range unless they like walk about here. And even then, they're not going to be looking in this corner as they're standing here in the middle. So it's more of a risky teleport play. But if you hear them all pushing mid and you threw this teleporter in the beginning, and they still haven't destroyed it yet, and you have one more flash, you can flash in, TP behind them all, and that's a clip. So when it comes to defending A site, much like the rest of Split, it's very limiting, uh, but I do have a play or two that I wanted to show you guys. So before the round starts, what I like to do is drop an anchor here in heaven, and then I like to flash my cross, get in this corner, and then if you see them pushing fast, you could sit here, get the one and done, and then TP back, or you could get in this corner, flash again, get one kill, and before you peek again, they think you're in this corner still, TP out, anchor your teleporter somewhere. And then on this wall right here, if you time it correctly, you can actually flash anybody peeking from A and not flash yourself almost entirely. So you throw it on this wall here. And because like it gets fully right here, you don't even get micro flashed by it because it's not touching your character at all versus it literally being in the face of everybody there. Just angle it anywhere on this wall. It should bounce right back into this corner here. And you'll definitely win the gunfight. And then once you get that one pick, just instantly anchor back to the teleporter that you have, either here or on site, or wherever you set it down at. So this is what it looks like in motion. The round starts in three, two, one, now. And swing. You can also make a similar play with your flash with your teleporter in the beginning of the match. This is a lot riskier, but it is doable. You want to throw your teleporter here in the beginning. It's going to take you all the way into coffee. And then as it's going out, you're going to need at least like two flashes for this while it travels. Maybe throw that flash bang. Throw this first one I just showed you. TP behind them all. And you're set up. Really risky play, but if you can get behind them without them knowing like this, that's like two or three kills minimum if they're playing a so you can either so you can throw it from screens or you can throw it from a site wherever you want to play i prefer to play from screens personally make sure you don't throw it too far to the right you don't want it to end up here you want it to be back in this corner here underneath refs Time to jump. throw it out and then really keep like an eye on them here like let them know you're playing screens it, it's okay if they know you're playing screens because you, they don't know your teleporter is that close and the second you hear them start to hard commit and start to push on an A site, throw your flash up, TP in before they can check this corner. They're flashed as they're pushing in, and you can get a kill or two this way. Now, it's really important that you TP and get here and flash them out before they push and check this corner, because the second they check this corner, they're going to see your teleporter here. So the timing has to be decent on this one, but it can really pay off if done right. So those are all the lineups I have for you guys with Split. A bit of a unique map, probably one of Yoru's more difficult maps when it comes to teleport plays and lineups. But I hope you guys enjoyed either way. I stream every single day on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash robertrayher underscore if you want to come through to that. I'm going to be making a ton of Valorant content, even things other than Yoru lineups, so be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment down below on what else you guys want to see, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.